recording to show how coronavirus has helped clear out the traffic in Oklahoma City, which there should be no traffic problems in Oklahoma City, but it's usually up here around the airport uh, area where all the motels and the hotels and the, just the businesses are. Just to show it's really an economical uh, economics thing where people are flooding your cities and towns to get more business, more tax revenue for the states, the cities. It's all about greed and money. Uh, a lot of it's people traveling to work, of course, and schools. The schools are closed for like three weeks now, and it should have been one week. But right up here is I-44 and I-40 Junction, where there's always a slowdown for absolutely no reason whatsoever, except that 15th Street uh, exit on 44, where you turn right up here on 44 West, that they call South. As soon as you turn right, to merge with 44 is always a backup. There's always construction over there in the right lane too. The roads are so bad that they found it easy. ODOT's found it easy just to uh, work on one stretch of road for like 20 years, I guess. They're going to do one bridge pretty soon east of uh, I-35, which is like six miles away. It's going to tie up snarl traffic. Just do one bridge. They're going to resurface uh, maybe three miles. The infrastructure has fallen, people. I don't think it's the coronavirus that was the problem. It was economic. Uh, somebody sent me a video from who was that? Uh, Truth Unedited showing it's a debt problem. And it is a debt problem. These, these cities and towns or corporations, they can't get enough money fast enough. They're whores, prostitutes for a dollar. Look at that, should have been stopped right now. See that road going to the right and to the left? Should have been snarled right there. So thank you, Corona. We, we can get to work faster. Yes, keep all the people from the airports and the, the city people, the business people from clogging up our towns for a dollar. 